Today we're going to compare two very, very popular hats, the open road and the open road. Now the open road is considered a crossover hat. Uh, it's a new term though. It's basically the brim of a fedora. See the snap brim I'm wearing? Got the curve. Same thing. Brim of a fedora. The crown of a western hat. Band of a western hat. Um, western felt. So what it is, it's a western hat shrunken down to dress hat size, okay, with a brim that's a little bit dressier. So instead of going up like this, it's just like that, and you can break it like a gentleman's dress hat, or you can wear it up, more western. Now that's the open road. It's always been made out of uh, fur felt, so it's kind of hard, stiff. Uh, you know, it's difficult to to squeeze and stuff. These are working hats, you know, they're meant for, uh, you know, horses to run on them and stuff, whatever. That's, you know, Western felt, you know? Okay, the new one that just came out is called the Royal Deluxe. So it's an open road, you know, everything else is open roady about it, same logo inside there. But they don't measure this in X, okay? These are measured with X qualities. It's a six X, there are six X's right there. Um, Sometimes it just fills it, X, 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 you know, like 20X, 100X, 1000X. But um, these are dress hat felt open roads. So they take the same pattern, the same brim, the same crown, the same band, the same everything, leather lining, but they use Royal Deluxe quality dress felt. And they have a few qualities. You know, they have their lower qualities, then they have Sovereign fur felt, then they have um, Stetson Royal, then they think they have Royal Deluxe, and then excellence. Real Deluxe is good stuff. You know, it's like two hundred plus, two hundred thirty dollar hat. You know, this is a uh, really good hat in terms of comfort. It's going to be a little bit lighter. It's going to be less of a break in. There'll be more uh, flexibility. So if you're tall, one of the issues with the open road is that this thing here hits people in the head. If you're tall, it doesn't have enough room. And so you, what you got to do is make a little bubble. See that? Now. With the Western version, you'd always have to steam that bubble in because it's just so hard to push it. it. You just can't. You can't just break it in. And if you do break it in, it'll break in wrong like that. So we steam a little bubble in the side to get you more depth for tall guys. They also get little bumps here too. Really tall guys get little bumps there. It's just a shallow hat, but it's part of the vibe. It's just part of it. Not everybody's going to get it. Taller fellows with bigger craniums up top will jut into the pinch and the, and the pinch and the um, crease. Now, with this version, it's soft, so just your head will do it. See? I'm pushing it easily. So all you got to do is just wear it. It'll break in by itself. If you've got that issue with uh, open roads being a little bit too, I don't know, too hard, too heavy or something, or, you, you know, they're not deep enough for you, the uh, Royal Deluxe is going to be much more comfortable in that sense. Now, the specs are the same. Um, there's no difference in the actual specifications. Uh, same brim size. They both got a bound edge. Same pin. Same leather band inside. One is going to be a little harder. Maybe it'll take the weight of water, like rain and snow, a little better because there's so much thick felt and, you know, it holds weight better. So if you got a ton of water on there, a softer hat is going to just droop. It's just physics, you know. So this might keep its shape a little better. This one might be a little more comfortable, softer, lighter, fit better, less of a break-in or a quicker break-in, I guess. That's the difference. Which one do you like better? Um, the original 6X Western comes in black, comes in silver belly, which is like almost a white. It's whiter than this. This color called Fawn. Um, we get it in those three colors. This one, the new Royal Deluxe, comes in sage. This is a green that leans towards charcoal gray. It's not a very greeny green. It looks like charcoal or like a London Fog green raincoat, but or army green or something, but it's uh, grayish green. Pretty cool, like industrial sort of looking. I like it, kind of urban edge. It also comes in cognac, which is just like a cognac color, just chestnut, sort of like a chestnut. Um, 
Hold on, I'll get you the cognac. Smoking over here. Yeah. Some cognac. All right, cognac looks like that. Open roads, definitely one of the hottest things this year. It's uh, it's huge. It's a huge phenomenon. Now, one way to fit an open road is like this. When you put it like this, you don't know what's going on around here because you're bottoming out on there. Well, this is what I do to everybody. I poke out the top. You see how it fits around here, okay? It's slightly loose. You tighten it up. Then you put this back, okay? So you know you gotta make a little, you know, steam, or you can even just like massage it a little, you know? It'll get soft by itself, because these are softer hats. Just push it down a few times. But um, yes, this is how you fit an open roof. Take it from me, and don't argue. This is the only way to do it. Pop it out, put it on, see how it fits around here. Then you adjust it, buy it bigger, don't buy it small, buy it a little bigger, uh, tape it down, you know, put some foam or something behind here. We sell a very good product for five bucks. Or you could go to the hardware store, get something called weather stripping, the sticky kind, like a poly foam weather seal it's called. Maybe three quarter inch, five eighth inch, half inch. And you get some of that, you put it in the back under the sweatband. Go big, don't go uh, small and expect it to stretch. Because leather will dry out. As it gets older, you don't wear it for a season. You put it on, it's dry and it's too tight. It gets you know, bad. So go big, if you're between sizes, almost everybody is. Don't think you got a weird head. It's just, the fact that it's gonna fit perfectly is, you know, it's, it's not likely. Most hats, you're gonna be a little between or you're gonna to need to get more depth on top or something. They just don't fit perfectly. And every single 59, every 7 3 eighths is different. If I pull three off the shelf, they, they vary a little because they're handmade. But that's what you do. Pop out the top, put it on, fit it, okay? Then put it back, okay? And then I also recommend steaming that little bubble in there. Just like a little, you know, little bubble like that. Maybe a little bit longer, kind of like cigar shaped like that. That way it pops out neat, in a nice, neat, symmetrical way, instead of popping out like, like that every time you wear it. You, know? you get a little hidden bubble and the hat looks the same. Anyway, gotta get to work.